Hello everybody, my name is Dimebot and welcome to The Loadout. Once again we are in Hawken. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Technician, which is the game's medic class. Now, the Technician is uh, a little different in this game than a lot of other games where you have a medic class. I'll just go ahead and take a look and I'll explain why. So, as you can see here with our weapons loadouts, I have my primary, uh, we have the Redox 02 which is available now. This is an okay weapon. Uh, if you are starting out with Technician, you can definitely take this. I do recommend starting with the, or getting the Hawkins RPR when you have a chance. It does a little bit more damage, has a lot better accuracy. The rate of fire is a little less, but it generates less heat. Now the effective range is a little shorter, but this allows you to put a lot more damage downrange on target. Now you might be asking, well, Dime, this is a medic class, basically. Why in the world am I going to be using it? An offensive weapon with it. Well, it's because the secondary here, the Helix Repair Torch, while it's great for repairing your teammates, it also can be transformed to deconstruct enemies. Now, a properly built medic and properly handled, it's not like another game. A technician class, you don't have to run when you get in combat. You certainly want to pick and choose your battles, however, you are a force to be reckoned with. I have seen and personally actually done very well in combat against heavier mechs with this. Uh, you want to watch out for scouts and predators because they're just as fast if not faster than you are, but you don't have to immediately cut bait and run as soon as you get engaged with the medic. You are a perfectly viable threat in and of yourself. So I recommend the Hawkins RPR and there is no prestige weapon yet. It's been coming soon forever. We'll see if they ever get one for us. Uh, let's take a look at our items here. So. I use the blockade and the hologram. I use the blockade to throw down a barrier in front of myself and whoever I might be healing if the situation calls for it. And the hologram I use basically just to confuse enemies because, you know, you see more than one medic and sometimes in the heat of battle they might concentrate on the wrong one. As for internals, it's a pretty simple setup with this. I use the shock coil which gets me 100% damage reduction from fall damage. The air 180 as always because I like the mobility. Deflectors, which let me take 20% less damage while I'm boosting and dodging, which you're going to be doing a lot with the medic. And the fuel converter, which lets me convert 2% of my damage that I take into fuel. All this makes the technician a lot more survivable on the battlefield. Now, of course, there are other ways that you could choose to go with this. This is just the loadout that I play with and that I find to work very well with this class. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into a match. Today we're going to be playing a missile assault map. And while we wait to get queued, I actually don't think that I, uh, yeah, no, completely didn't, uh, bye. Oh, and we're on an interesting map. So what I was messing with there was the new cockpit decorations. So this match is actually pretty well underway, but we'll go ahead and hop in anyways. So right now we're in heal mode. You'll notice my reticle flips when I switch. So the first thing to do is join up with my teammates here. Now you are fairly mobile with this mech. You can see there a good example of how much damage you can output. Now, they have done a great job with this game. You do get whoop, points for healing your enemies. And I've switched to my ability right there, which is a super heal. You do heal yourself when you are repairing or deconstructing, so always be laying on that right trigger unless you're overheating. So with the medic technician, you're going to want to stay behind your teammates a lot. Uh, keep in mind that you can actually fire at a separate target once you've mat latched your heal beam onto somebody. For those of you that are getting healed, you will see an icon pop up on your screen that shows it to you. It's that little yellow cross that's on my HUD right now. Time to get out. This guy wants a piece. I'm dead. Or not. It's a lot more survivable than you might think, except when that happens. So if you look, you get a readout that shows how much damage you've delivered, how much you've sustained, but also with the technician, how much you've repaired. So just in that little short space of time, I've already repaired almost 1,500 damage to my teammates. See if we can get to this guy real quick. 
Ooh, get back here. You're gonna make me waste my ability. Come on. One thing that you have to get used to with the medic is keeping up with the unexpected movements of your teammates. They don't always uh, really do that well with being healed, in my experience. I can't save you right now, buddy. There is only so much damage you can heal with this mech. So, now I'm healing this guy right here, even though he's at full health, in order to bring myself back up. Let's drop a hologram right here. So, always be ducking and weaving with the uh, technician. Always. You cannot really stand still and fight like you can with some of the bigger mechs if you're feeling ballsy with them. And people that know what's up will concentrate on the medic. So, time to get out. Throw a blockade down to cover my ass. We're definitely losing this game. This is a new map. I don't know all the ins and outs of it quite yet, but it does not take long to get across it, as you can see. a lot of XP for that, but it wasn't actually a great exchange. But if you key the ability for the medic, you can see exactly how quick it can just wreck someone. And yes, I've named mine Bones. It is a Star Trek reference. Okay, so we're about to take Silo 2. We're not going to win this game unless something dramatic happens. Come on, get healed. Where's the enemy? There they are. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> yep. What are we running against here? Bunch of scouts. No, those are all uh, berserkers, actually. Not an ideal team composition. But again, the purpose of this is to show you the loadouts and how they operate, not necessarily for me to show you that I can win every game I play. I can win a lot of the games I play, but not every single one. Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and also say, for the purposes of this commentary, that I hate this map. Uh, I wish that there was a voting option in the game to vote on maps, because I would never vote for this one. In my opinion, I understand they were trying to go for a small, tight map, but this is too small. said you are a credible offensive threat with this mech. It is not just all about the heals. Alright, so that's got both of us back to full health real quick. Oh yeah, do not be afraid to engage medium mechs with the medic technician. I keep wanting to call the medic. It basically is a medic. This is where the secondary weapon comes in real handy for putting that extra fire down range. You also get plenty of experience for healing teammates. So, yeah, stuck on the terrain, stuck on the terrain. There's another medic right there. Medic trains are actually really funny in this game. There we go. 
quick little switch there will get you a kill usually and get you back to healing in no time. But the technician's secondary, the RPR does a lot of damage. They're going to move on silo 1, so time to get silo 2. The squishiness of the medic technician, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. You just have to kind of learn to deal with it. But as long as you stay moving with him, it's one of the reasons I like to stay in the back while I heal too. It does make you less of a primary target unless the enemy team is really paying good attention. You're also fast enough to do what I just did and get to an enemy silo before they might have a chance. Now, this is not a game that we need to be playing right here, it's just trading. He's on his way to go ahead and get silo 2, 3. That's a Reaper right there, a Light Sniper. That's actually what I'm gonna, probably going to do my next uh, loadout on for this game. Bad move right here. Sometimes I do run the air dodge on this mech. Uh, it can be useful in certain situations. Medic heals. It's like Medicception right here. I'm overheated, and I'm dead. Six, five, and four. Not exactly my best game ever, but... Watch. The heal beam, if you've noticed, will stretch a good long ways, so... And it also, as you can see, as I pivot, it stays attached to my target as long as they are in range. Game. It's not a bad game. Alright folks, well, that is your loadout for the Hawken Technician. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. My name is Dimebot. I will see you guys later.